At most restaurants, having three customers suffer heart attacks after eating at the establishment would be a source of great concern and shame, something to be minimized and explained away. But not at one spot, where they actually promote how unhealthy it is, offering free meals to its most obese patrons, and even celebrating a death on the premises. It's aptly named the Heart Attack Grill. We sent ABC's Ryan Owens to check out their new digs in none other than Sin City. In a country where calories are posted like warnings on restaurant menus, where unhealthy school lunches are under fire, and where our first lady has a vegetable garden, there is an alternative reality. And it looks like this. This monument to greasy gluttony. Almost there. Almost done with this uh, single <laughs> bypass. Is called the Heart Attack Grill. It's a defiant throwback to a pre-health obsessed America. Hello. A kind of hospital themed Hooters located where else? Sin City. But as you're about to find out, eater beware. This restaurant can literally be hazardous to your heart. Remarkably, the owner says it's all done in the name of promoting good health. One among us has to tell the truth, and that's what we're doing here. The Heart Attack Grill prides itself on pushing limits, along with belt sizes. Diners must wear hospital gowns. People 350 pounds plus eat free. Their flatliner fries, cooked in lard, are unlimited. Thirsty? Try the all butterfat shake. Or maybe a shot of vodka served in a prescription pill bottle. And new to this menu, a burger with eight patties, almost 20,000 calories. That's the equivalent of nearly 40 Big Macs. Oh, and if you don't finish your meal, you get spanked by a nurse. She's not exactly a real RN, but her spankings are real, real hard. The restaurant and all of its repulsive excess seems right at home among the tourist traps in downtown Las Vegas. Its owner, perhaps the ultimate Vegas showman, Are you going to finish your burger next time? Yeah, I'll try. Is John Basso. As part of his act, he likes to be called Dr. John. Now breathe in for me. Dr. John has become something of a superstar in the fast food world. In his trademark over the top way, he depicts himself as Jesus Christ at the Last Supper, dining with the industry's other giants. Now let's send this on out. He's certainly come a long way since I first met him almost three years ago at his right. first heart attack grill outside Phoenix, Arizona. Back then, the restaurant was under fire after its nearly 600 pound spokesman, Blair Rivers, died of obesity related issues. He was just 29. There's an argument to be made that you use this guy during his life and that now you are very morbidly using his death to continue to promote your restaurant. I absolutely agree. And in a very sick way, his death has gotten the message out further. So this man's death has not given you pause at all. Zero pause. You guys, we are actually rolling now. Actually rolling. Dr. John's Vegas location is double the size of his old place in Arizona. Hello. And his in-house fatality rate, it hasn't slowed a bit.